Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. So let us continue the journey to learn assertions in exception handling. In the previous video session, we have started assertions. What is the syntax of it and how to apply assertions to just validate the age of a person. In today's session, just we are continuing this topic to understand something different examples that is inventory management and how to apply the assertions in the different stages of a program development to validate the inputs. So here in this inventory management examples, we have added a small constructor that will help us to initialize the inventory item. After that, we have created a small function to add item in the inventory. Next, this is the function which will help us to remove some items from the inventory and it will simply count the items which are presently available inside your inventory. In the main function, we have created an object of it and we have passed a valid number 10 to initialize the initial count of an inventory. Then we are adding some items and we are removing some items and we are just showing the present items available in the inventory. So let us run this program. This program is very simple. Let's see what will be the behavior of it. And here we go, you can see the output. It is showing current inventory count is 12. So let us see, check the output is correct or not. So here in this line number 28, you have initialized the inventory with 10 items. So 10, then you have added five, total is 15. Then you have removed three. So current, it is showing 12. So program is perfectly fine. There is no problem in it. But problem will occur when you will pass some invalid inputs. For example, you are initializing your inventory using a negative number, minus 10. So that is not a valid number, right? So you can't initialize your inventory by a negative number, right? This is not a valid input. Let us run this program and let's see what is the output of it. So here you can see it is showing the current inventory count is minus 10. So this is not a way to pass a correct number. And here we don't have any initial check we are not validating the inputs, right? So how will you validate the inputs or how will you provide the initial check? For example, you are trying to add some items which is a negative number like minus 15. So let us run this program and you will see what is the output of it. So here you can see it is showing again current inventory count is minus 8. You are removing some number and you are providing the value that is minus 30. You will run this program and you will see what is the output of it. So here you can see it is showing some weird numbers like 25 and we are not able to understand what the user is passing and how much item are present currently in the inventory, right? So we are, we have to just control on the inputs. We have to provide some validations on the user inputs. So user will not be able to enter wrong values. So this can be done in Java with the help of assertions. So how to apply the assert keyword to validate your inputs in the various stages in the development of your programs. So for example, let me just provide the initial check in the constructor where you are trying to initialize the inventory items using a constructor. So you will use simple assert or you can simply use the initial items must be greater than or equal zero so your inventory item can be zero or it must be greater than zero or you can display some customized message if this assertion fails so i will write initial items count right initial item counts can't be zero right can't be zero you can display small message right you can display a small message. Initial item count can't be zero or you can't be negative. Zero, we can have zero, but we can't have a negative initial count, right? So this assertion statement we have added. So let us run this program and let's see what is the output. If I, you will pass the minus 10 number, right? You are trying to initialize with minus 10. Let's see what will be the output of it. So here you can see you will run as and here you can see it is showing still the weird output, right? So before applying assertions, right? 
before applying assertions, you have to enable the assertions from the Java virtual machine. So you will go to the run as how to enable it. Go to run as run configuration. You will go to the argument tab or inside virtual machine argument, you will write hyphen EA that is enable assertions. If you will write DA, it means disable assertions and by default assertions are enabled. So if we are writing hyphen EA means this is a virtual machine argument. We are just informing to the virtual machine to enable the assertions so that we can just test the assertions along with the wrong inputs. So you just apply, click on apply and run it. So here you can see now it is showing the error. So if this assertion fail, you can see your initial items you have added minus 10, right? So this Boolean condition evaluates to false. So it will display this assertion message that is initial items count can't be negative right so in the in the same way you can provide the validation check in each and every method so you can add the assertion inside the add item function so if you are trying to add so you can add the count must be greater than zero right count must be greater than zero or you can add some message like must be a positive number right you can write must add a positive number of items right so here this is the assertion statement inside the add function so let us come down or inside it if you are trying to add a negative number so i will just make it correct this is 10 or here you are trying to add a negative number inside this function add item so let's see what will be the output of it right click on it and go to run as and run the statement you can see while adding some item inside the inventory using a add item function it is showing the item or you have to must add a positive number of items so this is the way guys you can add a certain statement in each and every function to check the initial validation check so in the similar way you can write assert the count if you are trying to remove some items so while removing the item must be greater than zero or you can provide some assertion message right greater than zero you can write the count must be greater than zero and you can apply condition the count less than number of item that Check also you will apply less than number of or item counts so you can't remove the items you can't remove the negative numbers or the count must be less than from the presently available items otherwise you will display some message like invalid count of items to remove right so you can display this message. So let me run this program. Let's see what will be the output. First, let me just do a small change here, right? I will just add something minus one. I will pass negative number. We will display the message. You can see it will display the invalid count of item to remove. And if you will pass, for example, presently we have 10 items, then you have added 15 or you have added five. So your item are 15. So you can't remove the items more than 15. For example, 19 you are trying to remove. Right click on it. Go to run as you can see. Invalid count of items to remove. So your item must be perfect. If you are trying to write that is 3. Right. And you are trying to remove it. So you can see it will perfectly fine. It will show the current inventory count is 12. So guys, this is the way, right? Guys, this is the way. How will you just provide? So this statement, this is the way how to provide the assertion error. So you can pass or you can add assert statement in each and every statement, right? So again, after this, if you are trying to remove some item from the inventory, like inventory dot remove item, and you are trying writing 15 so whenever this statement will execute everything is fine till here right everything is fine till here 
So whenever this statement in the line number 35 will execute, so it will just throw some assertion error. And here you can see it is showing current inventory count is 12, invalid count of item to remove, right? So if you would like to manage these assertions, exceptions, so you can also manage using a try and catch. So let me help you. How can you manage this assertion using try or catch? You can just put this statement inside the try and inside catch. You can just use assertion error or if you would like to display some other message, you can write sys error or inside it, you can display some message. So this is useful when you are not writing some message here. For example, I will remove this part from this. This is string I will remove. And this is over. Here you have added only the expression, a Boolean condition. You are not showing some message. Message you are trying to display here, right? So this one, invalid count of items to remove, right? So let me just add this statement and you will run it. Let's see what is the output of it. So you can see here program is perfectly fine. Current inventory item is 12 and you are trying to remove 15 from the inventory. It will display message invalid count of items to remove. So guys, this is the way how can you provide the validations. You can test your programs along with the wrong or incorrect inputs. So or how to manage the assertions. If assertion fails, it will show the assertions error or you can manage using try and catch or you can display some customized messages, right? So if assertion is true, it will not, you know, disturb your program. It will continue its execution without any interruptions. So guys, I hope you understand the concept of assertions and this is a very, very important while development of any projects to check your inputs must be a valid number, right? So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this session. Bye-bye for now. Have a great day.